with that, we're marching on. I feel bad for the people who thought I was actually going to be gone for a couple of minutes because, hey, it didn't happen. Uh, I'm still very, very salty about losing my GM reputation for what I deem is no reason, but hey, is what it is. And we march and we move to free agency to see what else we can do with this team, see what prospects we can find. Right now, as you can see in the bottom right, we have only 16 players under contract, so uh, that doesn't include the RFAs that we have, so... My dog does that, too, and then sits outside for, like, 15 minutes at 4 a.m. Yep, she'll do that, too. She'll just lay out, just lay outside and observe the neighborhood as if she's going to miss something. It's like, it is 4 in the morning. What are you possibly, possibly going to miss? But, you know, it is what it is. $43 million in cap space. Let's go. Might miss a squirrel. That's true. That is true. She's like the Joker at this point, though. She wouldn't know what to do if she caught a squirrel. She's always just like, ah, yes, cats. If I ever get my hands on one of you. And now she lives with a cat. And she's just like, man, eh, leave me alone. So. <laughs> it's because, hey, my dog's a real bitch. Anyway. Um, let's take a look. 27 players under contract, $43 million in cap space. Feeling okay. So, goalies, RFAs, Keith Kincaid, Philip Grubauer, and Robert Meyer. Grubauer might be worth a shout. Kincaid's not going to get too much better. Let's see. Um, I mean, really no goalies that we absolutely need to change our plans for. Anthony Brodeur. We are all in on Anthony Brodeur. I believe he'll technically be the sixth goalie under contract, so that is pretty much all we have to do. Carl Schmidmayer. The odd man out for Anthony Brodeur. Defensively, Cody Franzen. I made the mistake of signing him before. Martinez. Again, nobody that we really need. We can go slow and steady. Uh, Colton Tubert isn't going to get much better. Jesse Blacker, Colby Roback. There is Dylan Hetherington, who's 20 years old. We can go for him. We can go for Dylan Hetherington. Uh, Dominic Poulin's not good enough. Mason Jertsen. We can sign Mason. Bring in a lot of these guys. I am not going to sign a cap whale either because I feel like that will murder my reputation. We won't sign Matt Klutzum, although it's a great name. We'll save it from there unless there's a good RFA. Uh, Gormley is already ours, so we'd be looking at Ben Schrott and Matt Clark. I'm all right with going after Ben Schrott. I know Schrott's an enforcer. I want him. Let's see if we can snag away Ben Schrott. Clark actually has the better potential, too. I'd like to bring him in if I can. Again, there are RFAs, though. No guarantees. Uh, okay. Guess it's not quite. There we go. Nope, hit the wrong button. Fucking A. Third time's the charm, Matt. <sighs> there we go. Right, many. Uh, right wings. Devin Setaguchi, David Moss, Steve Downey. Again, we're just looking at prospects at this stage. We don't need any filler players. Um, Miles Cools, Robert Pelletier. It's not looking too good. Maybe I will assign the Gucci to a piece chat, but yeah, those two aren't looking too good for the overalls. Alex Grand Meissen. Uh, Adam Brodecki, 70 overall at 20 years old. Felix Westermark's also pretty good. Let's see if we can sign this guy. Adam Brodecki. Also go for the Felix Westermark. The Vestermark. 
Quinn O'Brien's a 60. It's not quite as good. Cody Beach. Um, there is Mache Baran. Mitch Holmberg. Okay, there's a lot of these three-star guys. Jesus. All right, I'm going to back off for the moment. Uh, top left wings. Vladimir Saboka, David Booth. Nobody that we really want. In terms of good prospects, Tedenby's not going to get much better. Rehard, Bukarts. We can bring in the Bukarts. Uh, Alexi Mustin. Can bring in the Finn. Uh, Dennis Gorbunov. Gorbunov. Mr. Gorbunov. Uh... Carl Klingberg, I signed him before, too. We can sign him again. See if he'll sign. Andre, Andre? I imagine it's still Andre, right? You'd imagine. Dude, there's a lot of these fucking three and a half red star guys. Oh, my God. We'll go for Josh Burnside. He's Swiss. It doesn't mean it couldn't be Andre. They speak a lot of fucking French in Switzerland. Andre. There you go. That's that's the his actual name is Andre. Uh Josh Winquist. You're a year older than everybody else. I'm gonna say no. Trace and Bowman. Fucking DL Hughley. Michael Hughley. Again, there's a lot of three star dudes. Um who were the RFAs at left wing? Bodker and then Nathan Walker. I'll hold off. Um at center. The big names, Brad Richards, Darren Helm. Yeah, again, nobody that we really need. If we were to fill out like a cup contending roster, some of those guys would help. But uh, we can go for Jay Merkley. We'll go for these three and a half red stars and hope that they do pan out. Greg Chase, send him a deal. Reed Patrick's not so good, nor is that guy. Okay, and then RFA centers... Miro Altonen, Freddie Hamilton, Patrice Cormier, and then McMillan is ours. Uh, we could definitely go for Freddie Hamilton. Try and steal away the superior Hamilton. I underestimated. The compensation is not the same from game to game. So, there we go. Send out that deal for Freddie Hamilton. Um... Near Alton, and I feel like we can hold off. So we got 30 people under contract. <laughs> we have sent out pretty good amount of offers so far. There are some younger players I'd still like to go after, but we got to make sure we prioritize the best of the best. So Burnside, Gorbanov, has anybody declined? And the answer so far is no. So we are getting a lot of people into the system here. Are we at a negative 50 yet? We might be after these signings. And then the RFA is... Nobody's declined yet. Goucher went to Philadelphia. Uh, Bodker. I'm going to keep Mikhail Bodker. I think he could be a really good player for Connor McDavid to play next to in the future. And I don't think his value will go down. And that'll take up a good amount of cap space. <laughs> so, uh, Freddie Hamilton staying with the show. Oh, I just realized I, I offer sheeted people. The GMs are going to get pissed at me. Say goodbye to my reputation. I offer sheeted people. The cardinal sin. I'm fucked. I've been blackballed from the industry. Oh, okay, it only dropped down from a, from a negative one to a negative eight. I still have somewhat of a chance at survival here. All right, we are at 43 contracts. I'm not even going to worry about cap wheels. Whatever happens, happens. Um, but as we look at UFA forwards, are there any top-notch prospects left? These guys who are 21 and aren't that good. For the three stars, there is Mitch Holmberg. How many three stars are there? Because that's my worry, and yeah, there's a shitload so it will be best to actually sort this by OVR and look for the three gold stars 
God, please just bring back to the top. There we go. We will look for the three gold stars. This will be relatively time consuming. But if we uh, want our best chance at finding the best of the bunch, this is the way to do it, given we don't have really any better sorting options than this. So there is Oscar Lindbergh, two and a half green. And Kenny Agostino. They might be worth it a bit more. There was nobody else in that category. David Booth is elite. I like David Booth as a player. Shame kind of injuries really kind of caught up to him, though. I'm willing to go for Oscar Lindbergh. This is the type of player I think we can give a chance to. Did I miss John Scott? Hell of a song. Don't want it, though. All right, uh, we can also go for Kenny Agostino. Same exact type of player. See if these two and a half stars will develop at all. Didn't miss him, I just want you to get him. Well, I'm not exclusively looking for him, so make sure if you see him, you say, hey, he was this overall. Go after him. So, it's on you. Right now we'd be up to 45 contracts. Uh, Brett Bulmer. Go for Brett, too. He didn't really develop for us previously. Andre Pedersen will hold off on. Jonas Natanen. Have anybody else? Patrick Holland will hold off. He was lower rated than the other guys. Grenier. Shout out to Raymond Sawada. RIP. All right. These three stars have got to start popping up in a second. There's one. Todd Fiddler. 72 or 73, it went too, went too fast, he says. There he is. There he is. You get your wish. I've offered John Scott a deal. I think that's up to 46 contracts. Got room for about two more players, I'd say. We'll go for Todd Fiddler. So one more dude. One more, one more. Who's it going to be? The highest rated of the young three-star gold potential dudes. Unless we go for Shane Prince. But I'm going to hold off, I think. Yeah, because Luca Fazzini is available. Luca Fazzini. He'll be our final target here. Um, and we'll see how badly my GM reputation dies over the next couple of days. Um... My guess is I'm going from a, a plus 21 to a negative 85 in record time. Uh, somebody had to reject the deal, but most players accepted, so that's good. I didn't include our RFAs in the counter, so technically we're already full. Our GM rep is now a negative 23. I fucking hate it here. I hope you enjoyed seeing us with two phones. Because it's the last damn time it's going to happen <laughs> anytime soon. And legitimately the last time because once we win here, we're moving on to NHL 16. And uh, there are no phones in NHL 16. So. <sighs> Rest in peace, the two phone dream. It is pretty much done. I hate it here. I tried so hard. It must be because I'm signing these dudes to a little bit more money than what it says they should get. But that's my way of making sure that I actually get them. You know? Do I think they'll ever bring back the phones? No. They should. But no. I mean, at least some sort of system where you have... The offer sheets didn't help, too. At least some sort of system... Needs to be in place that, you know, kind of, I don't want to say limits options because that doesn't sound right. Because obviously you want the freedom to do things, but your relationship with the other GMs needs to matter. And in NHL 24, it doesn't matter. I always remember getting the five phones and seeing this. I don't understand how I am the same way. I remember always having five phones. I feel like it was easier on like NHL 10 when it first came out. 
um, the, the phone system, that is. But yeah, I can't for the life of me figure out how to actually get phones. Play Legacy next. I do have Legacy. I am likely going to 16, though. Again, Legacy is the exact same game as this, just a roster update. So... Ender, it's it's a holiday. It sure is. It sure is a holiday, isn't it? Uh, we're not getting rid of any of those guys, even though they're RFAs. Uh, McMillan for a third. I'll also say no to that. I think Brandon McMillan could be decent for us. Good old McMillan and wife. Gormley and Murphy for Burmistra. Nope. You're not going to scare some kids? No. <laughs> no, I'm not. Halloween to me, it's just it's it's just a holiday for now. I'm at that stage in my life where it's just a holiday for me. I don't use it as an excuse to to drink or anything. Like it's just a holiday until I have kids. Halloween is just a holiday for me. That's it. That's it. So I look forward to the day where Halloween will be fun again. But for now, I'm just like, eh, you know. You mean you're not going to dress slutty for us? Now, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself here. I didn't say that. Got to do your tasks and make good trades. Yeah, I didn't pay attention too much to the tasks last season because I knew it wasn't going to make too much of a difference with the scouting. This season, we're going to get those um, scouting ones done. Then there's other ones like play a game and stuff like that where I'm just like, ugh, you know, just ugh. Uh, yeah, I'll be a slutty streamer. You know, that'll be the way to do it. <laughs> that'll be the way. <laughs> Just you wait until until the videos for tomorrow, YouTube side of things. When I'm dressed like a big titted goth girlfriend. <laughs> oh boy, there we go. It's gonna happen. Christ. Criminy. Alright. Third for McMillan. Yeah, we're getting trades for a lot of similar dudes. I swear to God, it said something about Vinny LeCavalier has been put, and I'm like, I swear to God, I thought it said put out to pasture. And I'm like, Jesus, he was bad at the end of that contract, but he wasn't that bad. Holy shit. Just said that he was put on waivers or something. So... Yuki is real to play for Halloween. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna exude that that really big step on my face energy tomorrow. It's gonna be a fun time. It's funny. Again, I've talked about it, right? My fiance being a teacher, and she's just like, Am I gonna dress up at work? And I'm like, I don't know, are you? And she's like, I don't really know what to be. And I literally just went. Here's a hockey jersey. You're a hockey player. And she's like, you're a fucking genius. I didn't have to put work into it. So, eh, eh, you know, shout out to the hockey jersey collection. Um, phew, All right. Let's work out these deals with the RFAs. Mr. McMillan, you're ready to get 19 million added to your contracts. I have no choice, though. Like, if I sign a cap, you know what? I'm fucked anyway, right? I'm fucked anyway. I already lost all my GM rep. I'm fucked anyway. I might as well just sign those dudes for a shitload of money. Although, I, I don't remember in this game if it did the cap reset or not. Part of me is wondering if I've been signing cap wheels for no reason. There is a chance. What's my rep at? Negative 23. You know what? We have so much cap space. We have so many dudes signed to short-term deals. I'm just going to let it go. I'm just going to let it go. And if those contracts get reorganized like they do in modern NHLs, then it is what it is. But, yeah, I'm uh, not going to worry about it too much. I don't plan on trading like OEL or anybody like that anyway, so we'll see what's up. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll go see what's going on elsewhere. 
once we get to the start of the preseason. Pay attention to some of those tasks, see if I can get the value back up. Not the value back up, but the reputation back up. My reputation, that is dirt water. Got that dirt water reputation. Yeah. Dirt water. Welcome back. It's the second year GM of the team. I'm happy to be here, Chief. Happy to be here. How dominant is McDavid in this game? Uh, we haven't seen him develop yet, so we'll find out. Um, on the next-gen version of the game, before we had to restart on this version, he did go up to an 87 pretty quickly. So, uh, let's just go ahead and sign Brandon Gormley to what he wants. And we will sign McMillan and wife to what he wants as well, just to get those deals done. What do we have for tasks? Make a one-for-one -one trade. David is the most valuable player on our team right now. We have four first rounders this year. Can I do literally I'll do a sixth for a seventh. I don't even care. Actually, a seventh for seventh might work. There you go. A one for one deal. Uh scout defenders in the O for three weeks. I will try. I will try. There we go. Start paying a little bit more attention to that. Look at our GM rep. It already went up. It already went up. Beautiful. Play five games, win ten games in your career. Okay, so if I sim... Okay, so if I sim the games, it still counts as playing them. Because we had five playoff games, so play five games. So I'm going to have to menu sim a lot of games this year <laughs> to get credit for that. That way I don't have to play. Good to know. Duly noted that that's at least a little workaround for us that we could have done before. All right, but we got those two signed. I do want to check the players that we didn't sign really quickly just to see if any of them look amazing. Um, for the goalies, obviously, we'll have to sort that out. Um, unsigned is Vince Dunn and Dyson Mayo. They're still looking about the same. Left wing side, Calda, Dvorak. Bunting could now be signed, but we don't have to sign him. He can be an overager. Same for Calder. Hasn't been any cap added yet. That doesn't mean that there won't be. Look at the centers. <laughs> Look at the centers. Oh, my God. We freaking rocked that draft. Montreal, get fleeced. Enjoy Sam Gagne. Holy hell. So, in goal... Uh, we will have Mark Vizantine. Ooh, Vizantine is actually still listed as a minor league starter. So we're going to actually go with Staylock and McKenna. Uh, let's call up Louis Domingue as the third goalie for the NHL. Um, unfortunately, damn, I wanted to get games for Anthony Brodeur. Ah, because I wanted to get games for Brodeur. We are going to have to make this change. We're going to go Burke and Brodeur, Vizantine and Staylock. Defensively, two, three, four, five, six. Oh boy. Well, we're definitely calling up Connor Murphy. Two, three, four, five, six. That works. I am going to need a veteran defenseman to take up that roster spot. I'm not going to worry. Actually, I, I don't have the roster space to do it. So we'll look for a trade. Forwards, Brown, Mantha's not ready yet. Oh, God. We're going to have to do a good amount of work here. Because we got a lot of younger players who aren't ready yet, but we pretty much have just a crap load of youth. So I need to go out right now, try to find trades for veterans with cap hits, and acquire them for dudes who absolutely suck. Uh, it's like Robin Regeer is perfect. I also love the term giving away players, not trading away. We're giving these guys away. Obviously, there are some teams that are getting rid of prospects right now as well. Uh, damn, Horkoff doesn't make that much. I'm looking for the dudes who literally have 
bottom of the barrel mm, trade value. So, Gibby! Oh, dude, Matt Cook, I'm not doing it. Gibby, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. How are you? Um, okay, Bryce Salvador, Jordan Leopold. That's not bad. Let's see if we can pull off the double. Leopold and Salvador. Um, let's go for Hache, because we know that he's not looking that good at two and a half star and is under contract. And I'm not getting rid of Mike Brown. He made himself a legend. So brings me to Ah, uh, Gibby, fun fact. We've been playing through these starting from 11 now up to here. We started with 11 because that's when the CHL was added in. So we've been going through a lot of the old ones on the channel lately. All right, is there anybody else I can add that doesn't fit the block that they're looking for? Godette would be perfect, because we know he's terrible. So Hache and Godette for Leopold and Salvador. I feel like I'm going to have to add a pick. Let's add a fourth. Still not enough. What about two fourths? Fuck, still far off in terms of value. That's not good. What about Louis Domingue? And now they'd have to add somebody else. There's Yager, but obviously his value's high. I don't... Oh, goalies. They'd have too many goalies. Um, <laughs> Martin Brodeur. Um, if I add Scott Clemenson, I'm going to have to add a draft pick I don't want to add to pull off this trade. It is what it is. I've already gotten rid of so many of my future thirds. Hache, Gaudet, Domingue, and a third for Leopold, Salvador, and Clemenson still didn't go through. Jesus. The fourth was enough. Okay. So, there we go. Um, we do pull off that trade. Just sign people. I have a full roster. Um, I'm at 50 contracts, so I can't. So, I might as well just try to pull off trades uh, to accomplish the same goal. But Cavalier has too much value. And a lot of teams that are shopping prospects right now. Damn. A lot of teams that are shopping prospects. Uh, Robin Regeer. Also be a nice little pickup. Still has more value than I'd prefer. Um, I give up Dyson Mayo. Dyson's not very good. Um, Mayo is not under contract, though. Let's go with Carl Klingberg, which would be a shame, and Dyson Mayo for Regeer? Still no. <sighs> what if I add a fourth? There we go. All right, so we added Regeer as well. Let's go over to roster moves, see what we're looking like now. Um, apparently I can have four goalies on a roster. <laughs> Jesus, let's send down McKenna. Uh, defensively, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven with Salvador, eight with Murphy, but that means we can now drop Murphy. And where we can drop kick him, you could say. Um, that can be our seven. So that gets some proper NHL depth, takes up some cap. Um we need we need wingers. <laughs> we need wingers real bad to fill out this team for now. <laughs> oh no. Oh, no. Are there any other deals like that that we can do? Again, Gianna's making, or Gianna's making plenty of money, but his value is too high. There's no, like, absolute cap whales on the market right now. I'm just trying to mitigate the damage a little bit. I mean, Matt Cook would help, but I outright refuse to trade for him. Yager's too valuable. I think we're just going to have to suffer through from here. Yeah, there really wasn't much else to do. So, if we go to roster moves, then. We know the forward situation's the mess right now. Brown, I don't want Mantha at the NHL level. I don't want Bradecki at the NHL level. I don't want Westermark at the NHL level. Um... We could try Toby Reader. 22 years old, his potential isn't the best. Um, let's look at the left wing side. I don't want Domi playing in the NHL yet. 
Lesio's 22. We can give him a shot. Agostino's 23. Balmer's 23. So we know we can make that swap for Mantha. Uh, Fiddler's 22. Larks 20, Bleeds 20, Ustinen, Antonin. And we got a lot of younger players on this team now. Bodker, Lesio, Agostino, Balmer. Spiller's only 20. We'll swap him with Fiddler. Send down Gorbanov. Send down 19 year old Rehard Bukarts. We're going to have a very young and inexperienced team. Uh, McMillan and his Merkley is 20. He'll be down for Lindbergh. Martinuk will be up. Samuelson's only 21. Chase is 20. Dauphin's 20. Merkley's 20. So what do we have for players? Um, I still wanted to send down Westermark and Bradecki. I need one more freaking fracking winger. I'm pretty happy with where the team is at, just at a base level. <sighs> Where's Scott? I think he was the one dude that ended up declining, unfortunately. Uh, again, there was one person that declined because I miscounted, and I think it was him. If I were to go after Yaramir Yager... Our players we could give up to get him that I don't necessarily want to give up. Damn. Oh, this sucks. It's a second round pick in the future. I have to give up a player. I'm going to get a pick back as well. Um, I can add Calda the deal too just because we know he's not going to sign him Christian Dvorak also had a ship potential Perlini had a ship potential sucks I'd like to keep Brendan Perlini but so if I pair these guys with the pick I'll be able to get a better pick back um there's nobody there that I want to add to this particular deal Gotta be somebody. Fortunately, most of these guys are the dudes that we just signed that we didn't want to give up. So that uh, that kind of sucks. All right, we're gonna have to give up somebody. Uh, sorry to. James Melindy, but I think it's got to be you. So the question is, can I get a draft pick back? A third is probably too much. Although maybe not. Maybe not. There it is. Yeah, we actually nailed it the first time. All right, well, we have Yermir Yager on the team. Had to sacrifice a second. A couple of dudes are never going to develop. James Melindy, but we got Yager in a third, so it's not as if it was a huge loss. And Yager definitely makes this team better this season. So if we take a look at what this team's going to be, it's not going to be very good. Also, apparently, was I really a forward short? Apparently, I was. I do need to call up one other dude. Where did I miscount? That dude that I sent down was 20. Right? Yeah. Who am I missing that I wanted on this roster out of the gates? Because I didn't trade him in that deal. Fuck. Hmm. No, we're going to call up Chris Summers, and we're going to run seven defensemen. <laughs> I don't even care. I don't even care. We do not have four centers, no. So we're going to run Willie Mitchell. Or uh, Ooh. 
U. 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 I have an idea. I have an idea. Temporarily send down OEL for random shit winger. I really wish that was sorted by overall. Go to edit lines. Go best lines to sort out the defense. Then we send down Braid for OEL. Go to edit lines. Slot in Oliver Ekman Larson and run OEL as a forward. So defense is Gormley and Stone, uh, Regeer, Leopold, Mitchell, Salvador, whatever. But at forward, oh my god. <laughs> All right, who are the best centers? Let me check this really quickly. Reader's got a 60. I fucking hate this. Okay, I can't properly scroll. Fiddler's got a 75. 55 for OEL. Brown's at a 60. Martinook at a 60. That's a shame. Bulmer at a 60. Oh, God. Lesio? 77. So we know we can play Lesio at center. Oscar Lindbergh, 60. Agostino's at a 66. Yager, 60. We know McMillan's a natural center. He's at a 75. Can Bodker take face-offs? No. So we're going to have to have one dude that doesn't actually take face-offs on the fourth line. Um, I think we have to run OEL, McMillan, and Yager. <laughs> Either that... Or we do this. Bodker, OEL, and Yager. <laughs> it's perfect. It's perfect. Um, what else do we want to do from there? Let's get Brown and Balmer on the fourth line. Um, I can't really have my perfect setup here in terms of face-offs or in terms of player types. Um... Which is fine. Lindbergh, McMillan, Reader, Agostino, Lesio, Martinuk, Balmer, Fiddler, Brown. We already saw the defense. The goaltending is Stalock and Byzantine. The Pirates are going to have Max Domi and Anthony Mantha on the top line. We're going to take McKenna out of goal and bring in Brodeur. So it'll be Brodeur and Burke. With auto rotate on. And then defense. Do I have anybody that I want in the lineup? We want Gertsen in over Claussen. Right? Because Claussen's just a dude. Yeah, Claussen's just a dude. Let's take him out. Get Mason Gertsen in there. Westland, was he ours? He was. Cade Fairchild is not. So we'll get him out of there for Armstrong. That way, it's pretty much all of our dudes actually playing defense. It's Kyle Hagel. It is Kyle Hagel. We can get him out of there. I mean, for a variety of different people. Uh, let's get him out of there for Westermark. Is this John Mitchell? It is John Mitchell. I'm going to get him out of there, though. Sorry, John. We sort by potential. I didn't realize we signed so many left wingers. Jesus. Another three star. Oh, Laurent Dauphin needs to be in. Jesus. Jesus, does he need to be in? Uh, we're good, basically. We are pretty good. I actually want to put Dauphin between Mantha and Domi. I'm not too worried about face offs or anything like that. Uh, Pirates are looking good. Damn it. Just put, oh, I can't put in Murphy. Hetherington. 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 Heather. Rington. Murphy. 
There we go. Beautiful. All right, so the Pirates are looking good. We got a lot of younger players in the lineup there. The NHL side of things, we are going to absolutely suck, but Oliver ekman Larson is going to be our number one center. I feel like, given the circumstances of moving from game to game, we have landed on our feet pretty well in a meme-based capacity. We have a lot of draft picks this year as well, first-rounders especially. I don't think we want Bodker as the captain. We want Mike Brown as the captain. <laughs> He's got to be. He's got to be. He's got to be. It'll be Mike Brown, Oliver Lawson, Tossum, and Chris Summers. <laughs> captain Mike Brown. Salute the mustache. It's the last thing you'll see before you get punched to death. Oh. 